All right, now we're doing 7Q, the Coins of Tur, round to the next M. This is by Bikeas, and 84% of the people like it. So, here's some lore, if we want to read it, but we don't need to. Here's the task. We're going to write a function adjust that takes two integers, the lowest currency that's, the pardon me, the year, lowest currency unit that's still allowed, and the price that needs to get adjusted. All prices are going up, and debts are remitted. The lowest currency will always be positive. So in other words, we're going to uh, we're going to have adjust and it takes two integers b and n and returns the smallest number k such that n is less than or equal to k and k remainder operator b is zero. All right. So basically here what we see is we need to adjust this price, uh, but since it's zero, it doesn't need to be adjusted. Uh, this per the price of this thing is one, but the lowest currency we have is three. So now it's three. Uh, this debt is negative two, but we don't have any, it's, it's lower, it's, pardon me, it's more than negative three, so it's back to zero. So basically, we're just going to round up to the next thing. Uh, we're going to round up until we can get uh, B remainder operator, excuse me, K remainder operator B equals zero. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, let's do a while loop to start off with. We could come down here and say while uh price remainder operator coin is a thing so while price divided by coin has a remainder we can say price plus plus until it uh, doesn't have a remainder and then we'll just say return price let's check this out see if it works and simple as that it works just like that uh, attempt it no tricks it works perfectly uh, but we can also do this using a little math logic. Uh, we could come over here and say const to make it a concise syntax. We could say equals coin price and then an arrow right here. We could do a console.log right here and check uh, what price divided by coin actually gets us. So let's, te pardon me, let's test that. So we're going to have zero here. We're going to have seven and two thirds here. We're going to have 8.1111 here. Okay, so basically what we know, what we should know, is that if we somehow round this up to the next integer and then multiply it back by coin, that will be the next highest price or whatever the, whatever the thing we're looking for. So to round all these up, what we're going to use is the math.sealstatic method, which always rounds up and returns the smallest integer greater than or equal to the given number. So we're going to have price.coin excuse me, price uh, divided by coin, we're going to wrap that in parentheses, we're going to say math.seal in front of it, test it out, and now we've got a bunch of integers right here, uh, different integers, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so now that we've got that, we can just multiply this back by coin, but, so times coin again, test it out, and now we've got this one, we've got 112, this thing's really not helping us on how, on what it's supposed to look like, but uh, let's take out let's take out this console.log and test it out. And like that it works, right? And let's attempt it. And there we go and submit it. All right, and so you can see right here, uh, this is the most popular one, pretty much what we just did right there. Uh, this is the while loop we did at first. Uh, then it just keeps going back and forth uh, all the way down i guess let's go to mine uh none right now let's go to very like it and we'll see you next time